Norepinephrine is my desert island vasopressor. Welcome back to Dana of Crippets, and today we're talking about the creme de la creme, the best of the best, the heavyweight champion of the world of vasopressors, and that is norepinephrine. Norepinephrine shouldn't be used for every type of shock, but it should be used for most. I'm so bullish on norepinephrine is because it is a balanced vasopressor. It has alpha and beta agonist activity. But what does this mean? A vasopressor like phenylephrine, yuck, has alpha agonist activity, and what that does is it increases afterload. The problem with a vasopressor like this is that this increased afterload load makes the left ventricle work much harder, especially when it's sick. But a vasopressor like norepinephrine has alpha for that afterload when there's vasodilation, but also increases the contractility of the heart, what's what we called a balanced vasopressor or an inopressor. Again, it shouldn't be used for every type of shock. For example, if you have someone who has anaphylactic shock, epinephrine is a much better choice. But for most general classes of shock, norepinephrine is a perfect go-to first-line agent for your patients. As for those reasons, 